guys, Perugia here. In this video, we're going to recreate uh, this uh, web page from scratch uh, from uh, a UI kit uh, called Coca, which uh, you can find on UI8. Uh, and I'm going to leave uh, the link in the description. But now, without further ado, let's jump right uh, into the tutorial. So, the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to create uh, a desktop uh, frame of 1440 pixels in Figma and uh, let's uh, zoom in and we're going to rename this uh, to coca and uh, the very next uh, thing that we're going to do is we're going to try and recreate uh, as much uh, close as we can uh, the actual logo so i'm going to write coca over here let's uh, uh, make this to zero and uh, they are currently using uh, let's see dm sounds so we're going to do the same dm sounds and uh, let's uh, uh, make this one bold of course and let's make it uh, smaller so I'm going to use uh, probably uh, something around uh, uh, these lines and uh, as you can see that maybe the logo is uh, in a different font or, or just uh, actually we're just using the smaller case and uh, also another thing that I'm noticing is uh, they are using uh, um, less uh, uh, letter spacing than the default and that's uh, totally fine. Now let's uh, create uh, the main circle and I'm going to duplicate this text, bring it on top by using option command and the up arrow in order to bring it up in the layers panel. Let's uh, go over here and uh, bring this C just right here all right at this point we're going to basically change and make this an outline stroke so it's bigger we're going to try and match a linear gradient for the background of this logo so probably going to use a color which is similar to this blue right here and uh, around these lines uh, I think uh, could work well and again guys it doesn't need to be like exactly um, pixel by pixel uh, perfect we just need to understand the basic so that then you can apply these principles in your own uh, design projects with uh, clients all right so I think overall this is looking good be just a little bit smaller and uh, now what we're gonna do is we're going to add uh, some uh, layout grids so let's do that uh, right here we're going to add 12 just uh, as a good rule of thumb uh, as we're starting uh, any web design project really so let's add also a little bit of a margin on uh, the sides and uh, here we go all right now let's uh, duplicate this text and we're going to create uh, the sign in um, button so let's write uh, sign in probably going to use uh, 16 pixels and over here just want to round up this number and uh, here we go all right now let's go ahead and add uh, a button as uh, the background and uh, let's round it up all the way and I'm also going to use uh, Ctrl plus C in order to uh, find this color and I'm going to make uh, it uh, significantly lighter all right at this point uh, what we need uh, is uh, nucleo icons so that we can easily find a hamburger menu and uh, in this case uh, I think uh, this one here is totally going to do the job so let's uh, increase the size just a little bit and let's uh, bring it on the far right of uh, this design perfect so at this point what I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate this text uh, and uh, I'm going to essentially I use the same uh, uh, text as they do here so it's going to be actually let me duplicate it and uh, let's do like this and uh, I have the, the text now let's make it significantly bigger because as you can see from the original 
uh, this is really standing out uh, quite a bit uh, and uh, uh, the reason being is that uh, this is one of the most important texts uh, that user needs to see right away so it's uh, it's important to really make it uh, very visible and we're probably going to bring it over here and uh, on top of that uh, we need uh, some subtext so again I'm going to duplicate this uh, and uh, I'm going to basically copy subtext uh, and uh, again making it like this or actually for some reason then copy you can you can totally use uh, just some lorem ipsum text uh, if that uh, if that works for you so yeah let's uh, do that let's make it a little bit smaller and uh, i'm going to make this one uh, medium let's make it smaller again and uh, let's increase uh, the line height uh, just a little bit all right, I think that uh, this text right here needs to be even bigger. Uh, I think uh, we definitely didn't size it uh, uh, enough. So maybe at this point it's going to, to work uh, <coughs> just uh, about right. All right, now I'm going to duplicate this uh, button. Let's try it. Start it. Let's bring it over here. Increase the width. And I'm going to make it uh, full, full blue. Let's also get the second one. Watch our profile. And this one is going to be inverted. So we're going to have the blue text and an outline uh, stroke over here. All right. Perfect. So that's fine. And uh, now let's uh, add the play button. Just going to be right here. Let's make this one blue. All right. Perfect. So that's going to be like that and uh, we have uh, our two main buttons now at this point uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to group these uh, and we can turn them into components uh, uh, pretty easily but just before we do that uh, another thing I, I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate this uh, C from uh, Coda and I'm going to use this color and I'm going to use the K keyboard uh, uh, shortcut in order to make uh, this uh, uh, really big and uh, I'm going to basically extract uh, the image uh, that we had from the original of uh, nice lady so we can have this background as you can see having this uh, C background uh, it's, it's a really nice touch uh, it's really um, it's really small and subtle but it definitely helps uh, within uh, the overall uh, layout and uh, we're also going to go ahead and add uh, the logos to this so actually let me select all of these and here we go so these uh, when, when it comes to the logos of course i'm using the um, like i'm grabbing them from uh, the original but if you need uh, logos of any type uh, what i recommend you doing is going to uh, plugins vector logos and uh, as you're going to see in just a moment, this plugin is phenomenal. And uh, the reason why I, why I love this plugin so much is because you're going to find logos which are all in vectors. So first of all, no need to like go on Google, download multiple files where maybe then they have like low res PNG or even worse, those fake uh, transparent PNGs, hate them. And uh, I think uh, I, uh, I'm going to find other people who are with me on that. And uh, the way that you do it is uh, you basically find uh, you know the vector logo, and uh, over here you can see uh, you can simply change the color, and uh, you're pretty much good to go. Or if it's an image, you can simply desaturate it completely, so you find, for example, the um, the logo which is colored, but it's a PNG image. 
simply go on, on the right, uh, click on the image, desaturate it, and you're pretty much uh, good to go. And uh, yeah, the same would, would uh, uh, actually uh, be for these elements. You know, these we can easily create them. Uh, um, I won't go into, into the details because I don't have the exact icons and might take a, a while to like adjust uh, all of these, but these are pretty easy elements to create uh, individually. So what uh, you would do is uh, you would essentially create a rectangle box, apply a drop shadow to this, uh, and then essentially just add the text, uh, changing the text and, and the colors and really make it uh, uh, look uh, as uh, uh, the final one. And uh, be sure not to have these uh, to be like too much on top of the image so that they don't uh, take too much visual emphasis. So this is the final result. I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial and uh, I want to remind you that on my channel you're going to find uh, uh, over I think 650 videos uh, at the time of recording this so you're going to find all sorts uh, of different videos sharing my over decade of experience uh, with uh, uh, being a UI UX designer and web designer. So hope this was helpful and uh, I'll see you in the very next video.